everybody. Um, oh, it's kind of dark in here. Um, I'm trying to get my phone situated because I don't know where my um, where my tripod went off to. Let me turn this off. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of like just left you there. At least let me turn that off and see if I can't get it a little bit something. Um, so we'll we'll deal with it, right? <laughs> we'll improvise a little bit. I have a box, and we're gonna open it up. This is the warmer and scent of the month for September, and we as consultants um, are able to subscribe to this. Payment comes out and it's shipped on the 15th. Today's the 16th and it's delivered. Yay! So I'm going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside. Now this is for September. So if you like what you see and you would like to order it, just let me know. I do have a pre-order list going for September 1st items. So as we head into fall and into the upcoming holidays, we're going to have um, fall fragrances. So um, we get a lot of little goodies in the subscription box. There's a room spray, and I will tell you what the scent is in just a second. We get nine bars of wax. We get... Um, brochures and sticky sticker rub and smell stickers and then we get a warmer and this is the warmer of the month subscription it's still hot here in um, Arkansas hi everybody um, so there's shipping still and my stuff comes from Texas a little loud I know so they are shipping um, in the insulated um, bag along with a, a an ice pack. So let's first go over, and it's kind of dark in here, so I'm going to transfer um, to my reading glasses so at least I can read the name. And I'll show you up close. I don't think things are backwards this way, but they might be. So we get nine bars of wax. Oh, smelling like fall up in here, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we also get a tester, a wax tester. This is the new size. This is like a size between a party tester and a mini tester, uh, which both of those are being phased out. And then this, um, a medium size one. And it's probably equivalent to about a cube of wax in here. What box is this? This is the scent and warmer of the month for September. So that's what this is. So the fragrance is called Amber Hollow. Amber Hollow. Ooh, a little shiny. Oh. Little, little blurry there, I apologize. Okay, my first impression. <laughs> Besides it smelling like fall. Mmm, I can definitely smell the um, amber it smells like um, a little bit. Well, I smell clove. And after I after I open up the um, brochures, I'll tell you what the actual description is. But I definitely smell clove, and that's that fall scent coming at me. But it smells like it smells like a fireplace that has spices in it. A spicy fireplace. It smells good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. 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 <laughs> it smells good. I love fall fragrances. Um, for fragrances, that's my favorite time of the year. I love the cinnamons and the clove and um, the ones that just make you feel warm and cozy whenever you smell them. Those are the ones I like. Okay, so this is the um, brochure. As you can see, it does not show you the warmer yet. I'm going to do that as a surprise when I open it up. So I will kind of keep that hidden hidden from you. 
Uh, scent of the month. This is for September again. Amber Hollow, clove leaf, cardamom, and dark amber spice up a warm cedar wood base. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can smell the cedar. Yep, 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 yep. Um, yeah, this one's a keeper, guys. This is a good scent. I will be making um, samples, so if you're not a consultant and you would like a sample, um, be mailed. We're still warm here, so I'm going to be doing uh, some felt samples to be mailed out. If you're local and you would like a regular sample to warm in your warmer and see how it um, reacts in your space, just let me know and I will get them done for you. Now, for the warmer. The warmer's name... Hang on a second, I gotta get my my electricity. <laughs> the warmer's name is Rustic Jack. If you are in my VIP group, I have shown you a picture of this. Um, I indicated earlier that I saw live pictures of this in the director's group, and um, it did not, I think it was in the director's group, um, one of the director's groups, and it did not look like what the picture looked like, which is not, well, is not all, can you hear that? <laughs> it's not all bad. Um, oh boy, they have this, hang on a second, they've got the cord really, really taped up, so I need to be able to get access to it. So let me get her plugged in, or him, his name is Jack. Okay, so clear dish. I'm going to give you a couple of little pointers. This is a clear dish because, oh, i got to get the light bulb out, <laughs> because there is a light bulb in here, and uh, the clear dish allows the light to actually come through the top of the warmer. So, 25 watt bulb. This is, this is different, guys. I've never seen a warmer like this. Let me get the bulb in there right. Oh, boy. Okay, it's Rustic Jack, so y'all be thinking Halloween, right? Oh, come on. It's not cooperating. Oh, there it goes. Silly light bulb. So, okay, so the, the dish is clear, so the light's going to hit it, and the light's going to be able to come through it. Um, on the bottom of the dish, if you can see it, it says four. You see that number four right there? That's an indication that the optimal amount of cubes is four for this warmer. Um, that way, when it's melted, the uh, wax will be um, at a depth that is optimal for fragrance release. So for this one, again, it's four. And all of the new um, warmers for at least the past year have a number on their dish like this. So if you have a new warmer, check it out and see what your number is on the dish. <laughs> So, are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> this is the warmer. And it is metal, guys. It is metal. <laughs> I've never seen a metal, a metal one before. So this is quite different. And he's got some, you know, some lines going down him. Very, very Halloween-y. Um, you see the Scentsy name on the back. It's got a rustic look to it. It looks like it's a little bit rusted. So I'm going to put the dish on. I have it plugged in. So I want you to get the effect when I turn it on because I have no idea what this is going to look like. So here we go. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Um, Wow, I love him. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to take this down and I'm going to turn it around for you so you can see it so I can get different angles of it. Yeah, I have my phone sitting on Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's very metal. <laughs> so this is awesome, guys. This uh, warmer is um, a $40 warmer. And for the month of September, it's going to be $36. I keep messing with this, and the dish is not sitting right. So there he is, guys, all shiny and a little dented in. And 
So there you go. What do you think? Oh, let me see. If I turn it sideways, am I sideways? I've done that before and it didn't work out too well. Um, so that is the warmer and scent of the month for September. Again, that's Rustic Jack and um, Amber Hollow. So if you would like Jack or the Amber Hollow, just give me a yell. Let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the metal will get hot. Um, I'm going to leave this turned on. I'm going to conduct my own experiment um, and see. It may be that the holes in the face are large enough to let the heat out from the light bulb. So, Deb, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to do. So, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to leave it on for a few hours and just see if the outside does get hot. I will report back um, any findings that I that I get. So that was a very good question. Yeah, because I've never. They're all in. I'm, I'm, I keep I keep doing that because some of our warmers, like there was a leather warmer. It wasn't leather. It just looked like it was leather. And I know we've had some in the past that look like metal, but they're not metal. But this this really sounds like metal. <laughs> so um, yeah, quite interesting. Um, different things coming our way with Scentsy, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, if you guys like him, let me know. I like him. I'm going to turn him on now so we can get um, a field experiment, if we will. So, you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.